I just ordered this uh, Agritronics HT Pro Hay Moisture Tester. It's a probe that goes into the bales. I only got a short one since I only make little bales. Uh, it was uh, like $189, I think. Uh, um, it says it's pre-calibrated. Uh, I didn't do any calibration on it. Um, the way I understand you push this button, give it a second, 12.8. And the temperature, to see how temperature, uh, how hot the hay is inside, 75 degrees. It's about 85 outside, so I don't know what the check mark is. But I'll just let it in the same spot and see. 12.7. I'll just do it one more time. 12.8. So it's it's tried in a couple of these were some I thought were some wet ones that I set aside. 14.1. <clears throat> they say anywhere from 16 to 18 percent. Uh, I was playing with it over here. This one was one I thought was a little bit wet. Just push the probe in. 12.2, so it's not that wet. <laughs> Try another spot. There was one here that tested real high. I was wondering what was going on. 14.7. Is it this one? Eighteen point two. Yeah, this one I thought was a little bit wet that I set aside. Eighteen two. There was a spot in here. This was the around the edge of the field, and sometimes I'll even just let the row there if it's really wet and there's rain coming. But thirty-six point three. Yeah, there's a wet spot in this one. Uh, let's see the temperature. Seventy-four. So I was hoping it wasn't the. I don't know what that is when you push that. I'll have to read the manual. Try it again, same spot. 35.9, yep. So this one will be set aside and uh, fed to some cattle right away, I think. Let's just go down a couple, a couple inches and see if it's just that one spot. Yeah, 14, so you got 14 there and about six inches away. 30, yeah, so they just have a little bit right on the end of this bale. But uh, it's not, it's still 74 degrees. Well, it's better to not put it in the hay mow. Um, I don't have the preservative uh, hooked up yet on my baler that's coming. Uh, this is uh, some salt you put on the, every row of hay that you put in. Every layer in the barn, I try to mix some salt in to help uh, preserve it. Plus, the animals love it, so. That's a old timey trick to take any moisture out. But uh, some of these that I thought were too wet, as long as the tester's working. And it's 13.5. 12.6. Yeah, these are, some of these are good to go in the barn. So $189. It's uh, fairly expensive for what it is, but runs on a 9 volt battery. But I think it's uh, worth having. I'll keep you posted in some videos. I'm, uh, I'm installing a, uh, a baler mounted moisture sensor. The, the sensor goes in the bale chamber to a readout on the tractor. Um, and once I have my hay preservatives hooked up, it updates every three seconds. If I come into a wet spot or something, I can go and uh, add the preservative. So that's what I'm up to. I have some hay laying I want to bale today. I'm glad this showed up today. It, it, uh, it's been kind of a cloudy, dreary day. This salt I didn't think was too bad. It was $6.99 for uh, 50 pounds. So, And yes, they have a picture of a horse on there. So the horses should love it. <laughs> and the animals need it too. So helps preserve the hay and uh, season it a little bit for the animals. So thanks for watching.